Hi everyone. I look for a lot of the different secrets and mysteries from all around the world, looking for the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, the Son of God, who was raised from the dead and took all the sins of the world away. Now the world elite, the Illuminati, the Freemasons, and even the spiritual realms that are all around us, they leave their signs and secrets right in front of us, in symbolism. And on our channel, we bring all of this back to the Word of God and show how we're nearing the end of days. Today is September 28th, 2014. And on the 25th of September, they have gone and taken out this little stone of the Georgia Guidestones. The Georgia Guidestones are, some people have even called them like America Stonehenge, and a person known as R.C. Christian, a pseudonym for Rosicrucians, had this stone monument built and it has all of these different like Ten Commandments for the New World Order coming in several different languages and things. Well there was this stone that was found all of a sudden right up in the corner here like a little cube and it had 2014 on it and now this man has come out from the place that was hired to build this by the man named R.C. Christian and he's taken off this block down here and it has a couple of different things on it let's go ahead and go down to here you can see there's the stone now and it has an M&M &M on one side or even a WW M&M &M would be 1313 Revelation 1313 13. and he doeth great wonders so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men this is the individual known as the beast that rises from the bottomless pit through here. See the beast out of the earth right here showing that we're nearing the time of these beasts that rise up. This is the end of grace and mercy coming is what that symbolizes. You can see an 8 on one side and a 14 or the M&M &M would make W W. W is 23 which is another cryptic number of the end times like a 23 and a 23 right here which you can you can work out that numerology for a long time on these different events but 23 has been shown as a date of the end because there is only 22 chapters in the book of Revelation see 22 right here and then 23 is the end you can see that right there there was another thing on the other side let's see where they tip it over and you can see jam right here now what does that mean I don't know could please let me know what your thoughts are on this and just like Sherlock Holmes if if any other thing uh, doesn't seem like that's what's coming then the impossible is what is meant to be happening here we will show the quote once you eliminate the impossible whatever remains no matter how improbable must be the truth so what does jam mean could this mean they're gonna jam all of our radars one day like a the EMP blast that many people have thought that would take out the USA and eliminate the ability to use a nuclear strike or to fight back is that what jam means let me know what you think or even backwards Maj through there but then you can see the different numbers on there. It has an 8 also, but we don't know what these dates mean. And it's an actual cube. Now this cube can symbolize all the way to the Kaaba and to the Pandora's box being opened that we're nearing this time. What was kind of funny is the mason here, he chipped off pieces and he goes, does anybody want a chip? Literally like asking anybody if they wanted to receive an RFID chip as he's chopping these up. So now we have a man in red asking does anybody want a chip as he's holding Pandora's box. This is just crazy the symbolism that's going on here. The time of the red of Edom rising up and giving out the chip. Literally part of the black cube just like the Kaaba of Islam. And then they go in and they start chipping pieces off and handing them to everybody so everybody can have a little part of what's going on. This symbolism is unreal what's going on here. Now let's show the area. 
This is where the Georgia Guidestones are. I keep showing that as that everything's going according to the plan. Even the Freemasons and the Illuminati are doing everything right by the Bible. Yes, they're trying to trick you away from Jesus Christ, but they're not stopping the end of days coming. They're not going to stop the four horsemen from riding. They're not stopping the day of judgment or any of these things. Everything's going according to the script. Here is where the Georgia Guidestones are. Let's take that off of there. And I show that when this when the big event happens and Jesus lets out the horsemen, an actual ark, like the ark of his testament, will take off, rising at that point. The ark of Jesus' testament. And it will be the time when the horsemen begin to ride. And it will be the grievous head wound to the serpent. And the serpent doesn't even seem to mind that it's going to get this grievous head wound. It will recover from that and rise back up. Now, at that time, the woman, the spirit in the Bible that actually gives birth to all of us, is caught away. Has anybody seen the ark yet? Or the white horse? It's sitting right in front of you. You can see it all right now. <clears throat> there it is. Right there. When the horsemen begin to ride. And then the ark of Jesus' testament takes off. And then the red rise. You can see the woman right here. And you can see these dogs. The dogs represent Gentiles. It means the end of the time of Gentiles is coming, literally. And that means that the golden age is beginning and the great deception of the Bible is coming. <clears throat> right there, right in front of you. See that? So we can see the ark rising. Does anybody see the dragon getting the grievous head wound? There he is right there. Just like this. On this day when this ark leaves, this represents the rapture event. All of us going up in, as a flaming phoenix. Just as when Elijah was inside of the flaming chariot and he ascended. Exactly as just going by scripture. Perfect. See, this is the grievous head wound of the Bible coming. Well, I just wanted to show quickly that this was all right here in front of us. Confess with your mouth. The Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart. God hath risen him from the dead, and you'll be saved. Hallelujah. Perfect. Right by the Georgia Guidestones. When the cube is opened, just like receiving the grievous head wound, just like him bashing in this cube,